Nintendo Switch continues to be the place where the fun don't stop as six new games were just announced. What's going on everybody, it's Zach from Switch Force, Gabe is here, and the games just keep on coming and coming for our favorite hybrid. 500, 600, 700, 800, when will it end? Hopefully never, especially given some of the stealth announcements that we see here today. We've got six for you, and we're going to kick it off with one that is near and dear to my heart. Zach, you absolutely love Flinthook, and in this game, you live the life of Space Captain Flinthook, armed with your mighty hookshot, your uncanny slow-motion powers, and your trusty plasma pistol. Plunder and fight your way through an infinite variety of randomly assembled spaceships for treasure, loot, and fame. This is developed by Tribute Games, and you really, really like this game, Zach. It came out early 2017. I think it's a phenomenal roguelike. Some people have criticized it for being a bit repetitive, but I feel like the mechanics are the driving force and the fun art, as well as the in-game run upgrades and then the metagame upgrades. That's one of my favorite aspects of roguelikes when they allow you to improve within a specific run and then also uh, as your overall like account progress as a whole. I love that stuff. This also is coming physically from limited run games which is really cool giving it another chance to shine i feel like it's underrated i feel like it's under buzzed and i hope that it finds its groove on switch no date as of yet details coming soon according to tribute Another limited run game coming is Mercenary Kings. You craft your arsenal to avenge your fallen comrades and save the world from the fearsome forces of Claw. Zach, what do you think about Mercenary Kings? Well, what's cool here is this is Mercenary Kings Reloaded Edition, and it is going to be adding a whole bunch of content uh, and revamping Tribute Games' marquee title. It will be added to already existing versions, but they also have announced Xbox One, PS Vita, and most importantly, Nintendo Switch versions. This one has a date, and it's real soon, February 6th. Again, as you mentioned, it's getting a physical release. It's a pretty fun game. You can play either solo or you can play co-op. It'll be a good fit for Switch uh, and has a very fun art style as well as, Gabe, new playable characters for this edition. Yeah, I'm actually excited because I played a little bit of it when it originally released, but that was some time ago, and I'm sure I had fun with it, but I think at that time just so many other games were coming, and you know, Switch is a perfect opportunity to jump on that once again. But, Zach, the game I'm most excited about for these six Dead Cells, which is a roguelite metroidvania action platformer. You'll explore a sprawling, ever-changing castle, assuming you're able to fight your way past its keepers in a 2D Souls-like combat. There's no checkpoints, Zach. You kill, die, learn, repeat. Oh man, this sounds really good. It looks really good. It's been in early access for quite some time now, but it's going to be coming to Switch day and date with the full release on PC. Yeah, that is the hope. Um, from the French team Motion Twin. It's a phenomenal game. I played quite a few hours when it first launched into Early Access. I've heard they made some improvements since then, but I kind of like to test these games out and then wait for their uh, final iteration so I don't get burned out and so I get to experience what the developer intends for us to experience. It is hitting consoles like PS4 and Xbox One as well as Nintendo Switch, and it looks to be a day-and-date uh, release across all of those platforms. No release window um, except later this year, so it is a 2018 title. It's, again, a roguelike gem, and sort of like the Vita before it, the Switch is about to become the best, play to pl best place to play this genre and probably the best place to play indies ever. Yeah, it's really looking to shape that way. And uh, on top of that, though, we have Aegis Defenders, where you take on wild beasts, ruthless soldiers, and ancient gods in this 2D action platformer inspired by tower defense combat. A lot of 2D action platformers. I really like tower defense. Uh, Pixel Dragon Monsters is one of my hidden gems of all time. Me and my brother Jake had a blast with it. Aegis Defenders is going to have split Joy-Con local multiplayer, which is fantastic. Um, the game is split into exploration, tower building, and then defense, and it's hitting on February 8th, so it's coming super soon. It was previously announced for PS4 and PC, but now they're bringing it to Switcheroo as well, which I gotta love, and it's only two weeks away. Co-op sounds cool. Gabe, I wish we could defend our town together, um, but it is local, so I'll have to find a friend that wants to help me be the Aegis Defender. 
Good luck finding a friend anywhere near as cool as me, but in the meantime, we'll move on to a game that looks very cool. My time at Portia, or Portia, however you pronounce that, you start a new life in the enchanting town of Portia. Restore your pa's neglected workshop to its former glory, grow crops, raise animals, befriend the town's quirky inhabitants, and uncover the mysteries of this charming post-apocalyptic land has forgotten. Very positive reviews on Steam, 516 of them. It just came out a few days ago, January 23rd was the release date. This comes from you from Pathia Games and uh, another early access game that's coming to Switch. Yes, Team 17 is publishing this one so you can be assured of its quality and that's been uh, echoed on the Steam reviews. Gabe, it sounds like a game for you. Uh, I like the twist that it's a post-apocalyptic world even though everything looks so like lush and vibrant and nice um a lot of the reviews are talking harvest moon stardew valley so this could be a 3d iteration uh, of that beloved switch indie and i think it looks pretty cool i'm kind of tempted to check it out on pc because there is no date for the switch version just later this year um but as it's in early access I'm guessing the full version will be what hits Switch, which is pretty exciting. So, again, that tough decision of, like, do you check it out now or do you wait? But, look, you can build workshops. You can run your own farm. You can uh, put a whole bunch of Animal Crossing-style furniture decorations and upgrades inside your house. There are other townsmen. You can battle. There's a whole lot going on. Um, and it it actually looks pretty fun for such a cutesy kitty-looking game. Uh, I am impressed by the insanely awesome reviews. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. But, Zach... I'm going to leave the last game up to you. The last and oh, most babe. exciting game. Tell us all about it. This is the this is the big one. This is the rarest Wii U game. One of the rarest and most expensive Wii U games is hitting Nintendo Switch. Hello Kitty Cruisers with Sanrio Friends. Now, Gabe, you don't know this about me. It's kind of embarrassing. But when I was small, I would go to the Hallmark store with my mother. And me and Jake would pick out little Sanrio things like little notebooks and pencils. Uh, and we liked Kiro Karapi and Bats Maru and Pachaco. And if you remember any of those fine folks, definitely let us know in the comments down below. But this game right now is going for as much as $277 on eBay. It's 80 bucks used at GameStop, uh, and it's just a freaking wonderkin. Uh, it was $19.99 on Wii U when it launched, uh, <laughs> but again, the physical version is what people are, are coveting. Now, though, everyone can experience the glory that is this Mario Kart wannabe, and I feel like, Gabe, when this thing launches, you and I need to have a... An absolute battle, um, because I know that Hello Kitty means a lot to you in, in your life. I know that's been an important, important part of your childhood. Um, and look, this game has planes, it's got cars, it's got boats. It's it's basically Diddy Kong Racing for a new generation. <laughs> sure. Uh, as long as I don't have to spend $200 on it, then we'll sh we should be all right. <laughs> yeah, no, no $200. Um, and in all seriousness, this game doesn't look that great but a whole lot coming to switch which is super stinking sweet there are a couple more titles that were announced but this was uh sort of the cream of the crop let us know in the comments down below which one of these six you are most excited for we are most excited for i think uh dead cells and flint hook although i'm curious about how aegis defenders shapes up especially since that one is releasing soon the library continues to evolve and expand and we We'll do the same as these games release. So make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest from the Switch and these six upcoming releases. Follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash the Switch Force if you want to send us fan art of Gabe as Hello Kitty. And until next time, for myself and good old Gabe, thanks so much for watching. Switch Force, out.